بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم امریکان انٹروڈکشن تو پیراسیٹولوجی اتنی آلوچنا انٹروڈکشن تو پیراسیٹولوجی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی جدن علما ربی شرار صدری ویسر لعملی وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ و قول انٹروڈکشن تو پیراسیٹولوجی ای لیکچر تیچھو پر ایک تی لیکچر ایٹر پورے جے کوشن گلو آمد جانتا ہوئے What is medical parasitology? Branches of it define parasite, parasitogen, different types of parasite, how many kingdoms are there, what is symbiosis, parasite, parasitoid, what is host, what are the types of host, <coughs> short notes on vector, carrier, genosis, what is mortality and morbidity, and commodality and mobility of some important parasitic diseases. The term parasite came from the Greek parasitos. Para means along the site, site of, and cytos means food, meaning eating at the site of or at the same table. Parasite is a living organism which depends on another living organism for food and accommodation. A parasite cannot live independently. So what are the criteria of parasitism? Number one, this is a ecological relationship between two different organisms, one designated as parasite and the other as host. The parasite is physiologically or metabolically dependent upon the host and heavily infected host may be killed by their parasites, is usually unusual. The reproductive potential of the parasite exceeds that of their host. What are the types of parasites? By definition, parasitic organisms in the nature can be divided in many different classes like helminths, protozoa, fungi, bacteria. Some orthopods also cause some human infections, but they remain outside the body and are considered as ectoparasites. For example, redovic bark, body louse, etc. However, conventionally, helminths and protozoa, helminths and protozoa are included in the medical parasitology books, not bacteria, fungi, viruses, are not included in the medical parasitology books. There are five kingdoms proposed by Whitaker in 1969. They are prokaryote kingdom, that is Monera, all prokaryotic cell, that is bacteria, they belong to prokaryote kingdom. Pro means prekaryote means the primitive nucleus. Protista kingdom, unicellular but eukaryote. LG and protozoa belong to this group. Fungi kingdom, molds and yeasts, they are eukaryotic. Animal kingdom, helminths, they belong to animal kingdom. Plant kingdom, uh, all plants, there is no human, no known human pathogen in plant kingdom. Human pathogen are present in the animal kingdom, fungal kingdom, protista kingdom, and prokaryote kingdom. Host. Uh, host are the organisms which give shelter and nourishment to the parasite. There are different types of host, definitive host, intermediate host, accidental host. Accidental host may again be permissive and non-permissive host, teratonic host, reservoir host. Uh, different types of host can be described, a little bit description. Definitive host are those hosts which harbor the adult stage or sexual stage of the parasite. Intermediate host harbors the larval stage or a sexual stage of the parasite. However, with parasitic protozoa, the vertebrate host is generally referred to as the definitive host and in vertebrate host is the intermediate host. Accidental hosts are those in which the parasite does not normally develop but when occasionally infections occur accidentally, the parasite is able to complete the life cycle. Permissive host is another type of host where the parasite can complete the life cycle. They include true definitive intermediate host as well as many accidental hosts.
normal non permissive host are those exidistant host where parasite cannot complete its life cycle and eventually they die within the host they are the dead end host man is the accidental non permissive host for echinococcus granulosus peritoneic host is another type of host where parasite undergoes arrested development on infection larva forms accumulating in this host until they have a chance of infecting the definitive host these host are therefore not essential for completion of the parasitic life life cycle that is tinea solia reservoir host is a vertebrate animal species that harbors a particular pathogen and act as a long term source of infection for other vertebrates or vectors reservoir hosts are essential for the maintenance of infection during times when active transmission is not occur for example dog in case of leishmania donovani vector <coughs> and arthropod or other living carrier that transports a pathogenic organism from an infected to a non infected host this can be passive transport or as an essential host in the life cycle of pathogenic lesion when it's essential host then it's biological vector carrier a host that harbors a parasite but exhibits no clinical sign symptom life cycle means you will come across the life cycle of different parasites for survival and reproductive reasons many parasites evolve through a number of morphologic stages and several environments or different hosts the sequence of morphologic and environmental stages is referred to as the life cycle there are terms like parasitic infection invasion by endoparasite protozoan means parasitic disease invasion and pathology produced by endoparasites parasitic infestation external parasitism by ectoparasites like arthropods parasitism and other types of association like symbiosis symbiosis literally meaning living together when two species of organism live together with no implication regarding length or outcome of association is known as symbiosis symbiosis include mutualism commensalism and parasitism mutualism is that type of association which is advantageous or often necessary to one or both and not harmful to either it is a highly interdependent association and the two associates cannot survive without one another examples are some flagellate protozoa with termites or ruminants and rumen protozoa in this case the protozoa have the enzymes to convert cellulose to glucose the host provides a low redox potential in bond commensalism the association of two different species of organisms in which one is benefited and the other is neither benefited nor harmed for example non pathogenic intestinal protozoa parasitism parasitism is a type of symbiosis where two or more organisms from different species live together in which one member depends on the another for its nutrient protection and other life functions it is disadvantageous or destructive to one of the organisms another term is parasite or it like parasite a parasite that kills the host is called a parasite right protozoa a sub subkingdom consisting of unicellular eukaryotic organisms are known as protozoa proto means ancient zoa means animal so they are unicellular eukaryotic organism metazoa a sub kingdom of animal kingdom comprising multicellular animal like helminths what is helminths helminths come from the greek worm greek meaning worm they are invertebrate characterized by elongated flat or round bodies higher 
multicellular forms of parasite with specialized organ. There are two basic types, nematode and nematode that is down worms and platyhel minthes that is flat worms. Platyhel minthes include cystode, tapeworm and tematodes fluke worm. Junos is a disease occurring primarily in the wild and domestic animals that can be transmitted to humans are known as zoonotic diseases. Uh, this is uh, to give a view about the morbidity and mortality of some important parasitic diseases for among the protozoa and the mot- Malaria is among the number one. Every year, 800 million infections are there, ashikuti, of which 150 million, that is ponorokuti, they suffer from malaria and death about 1500 thousands, 1500 thousands, that is 15 lakh, 1500 thousands. Amoeba, uh, there are about 480 million infections, of which 50 million gets disease, and 100 million, 100 thousands, that is 1 lakh, they can die. Toxoplasma, about 40 million disease with 10,000 death. Tiponosoma, 24 million infections, 1.2 million disease, 16,000 death. Intestinal nematodes, they cause a huge infection, 2,400 million, that is 2.4 billion infections, and 2.6 million disease, of which 80,000 dies. Thank you very much for listening, patience hearing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.